You know, when I first got diagnosed with cancer, um, and I'm, I'm thinking back to myself what I felt like, and it was really just a kind of a loss of hope. You know, I was 26 years old when I, when I got diagnosed. And I remember the oncologist walking in and just saying I had follicular non-Hodgkin's and it wasn't curable. And at that time, you know, you think to yourself, well, that's a death sentence. Since going through the treatment, I've relapsed and I came back up to the hutch again for a second treatment. And this time it was for um, the immunotherapy that we go through, which was less invasive. But with treatments like immunotherapy, it starts to put some of those questions that I had before about you know, really do want to bring kids into this world. Is it, am I going to be desirable to date? Some of that behind me because it gives me hope that there will be something in the future. The human body is blessed with a system, the immune system, which is truly remarkable. Can we capture the power of the immune system to fight cancer and fortunately, over the last several decades, the answer is emerging, and it is definitely yes. Well, the, the excitement, the thrill that we felt when we were first seeing bone marrow transplantation roll out is similar to the excitement and thrill that we're seeing today with the early results of immunotherapy. Today, we're in a place that we only dreamed of being 20 years ago. We really do now understand the final obstacles we have to overcome to make this work. I've been kind of paying attention to all this new, you know, immune therapy that's happening and it's so cool. And I would definitely want to be a part of that in any way possible. Let's say if there was a cure for cancer, we. We'd, we'd all be more wholesome people. We'd all individually be free of something that's a big agony and source of suffering in our lives. At some point, everybody has known someone who has exactly. either fought cancer or fallen victim to it. Uh, to say that there's a cure for it is just, it seems like it almost equivalent to the realm of science fiction, like traveling at light speed, you know? It's just one of those things that we all secretly hope that it can be done, but I think we all kind of also secretly believe that it can. I know a cure is possible. If we can send somebody to the moon, you know, let's get a cure. And I, I salute you guys for making the effort to find a cure. It, it's so important, you know? Just even hearing the word cancer is, is paralyzing. So I think um, even hearing the hint of a cure is pretty exciting. I'm surprised the world awesome. doesn't know about this. Yeah. <laughs> Over the past three or four years, we've really realized that the time is now. We really can do this. So we understand so much more about the immune system than we did even a decade ago. Um, so we've been able to, uh, to rapidly now move this uh, forward. And fortunately, the Hutchinson Center's made a commitment to actually trying to really develop this uh, to make it available for patients. Everybody um, in the program um, is, is incredibly excited right now because we see the ability to move this forward into patients and to actually get, get the results that will, that will tell us what to do next. We really do believe that we have a new opportunity here with, with a therapy that, that has the potential, I think, to change how we deal with cancer and to change the outcomes uh, and improve the outcomes. It's pretty amazing that my, my nodes that I had in my neck, you can still see, I've got nodes up through here. I had a nice large tumor um, right under my neck there. My CT scans that I had prior to getting immunotherapy to the CT scans that I just got last week, all the nodes are either stable or smaller. So it is pretty nuts to think to yourself, you know, the uh, current modality of treating cancer is this, this, this very uh, uh, invasive, method, which you lose your hair, you throw up, you're sick, you, you kind of look like an alien. And then now there's this promise that you're not going to lose your hair, you're just going to lose a couple hours of your day and you can go back to work and, and you just go back and talk to your friends, hey, what'd you do today? Well, I got a cancer treatment and that they, oh God, I, we're so sorry. It's like, no, I, I feel fine. It's really pretty amazing. I feel like if I can help contribute and have some other family um, benefit from what I've gone through because the treatments I'm going through and, and they don't have to sit up there and face the possibility of losing their child. Uh, it makes it all makes it worth it for me.